How far along, Mike, are we in this tactical rally? You know, all rallies and all you know downturns are about uh, time and price, Lisa, as you know. Um, I would say in terms of price, we, we've talked about 200-day moving average now is an achievable level. That's sort of 41.50, but it's coming down. So depending on when you get there, that'll determine the level. Uh, I think in terms of time, it's probably into the holiday period, maybe Thanksgiving. You know, uh, then we'll get the sort of you know the Black Monday results. Uh, uh, you know, from you know, from the holiday shopping season, and and we'll see if it is going to be a, a you know a Black Monday or a Red Monday. You know, do we get the sell through? We're we're pretty we're pretty uh, discouraged. You know, in terms of what we think we're going to get through on 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 holiday sell through, uh, mainly because what you just mentioned, there's going to be a lot of discounting to move some of that extra inventory, something we've been highlighting for a while, and so that's when we'll get the next chance to perhaps see you know the fundamentals overtake the technicals on the downside, and then we think ultimately the bear market will be over probably sometime in the first quarter. Now, all of this is, you know, subject to revision, right? So I want to make it perfectly clear, if the market starts to trade off again and the S&P breaks down and blows through 3650 on the downside, we'll be bearish again, okay? Um, but, you know, this is our job. We uh, we think, and we like the price action the last couple of weeks, notwithstanding, you know, some, some negative earnings reports uh, last night. Uh, we think maybe the market will hold up and that'll be another positive catalyst because if stocks don't go down on bad news and the market isn't going on bad news on fundamentals, then what do you have?